Delivering only using destination process information means regardless of which process and host the segments are coming from, using connectionless demultiplexing, they head to the same process. That is, identified within the destination host with a host local port number. Let's see connectionless demultiplexing in an example. We have three different hosts at IP addresses that are depicted as A, B, and C. And we have created sockets 9157 on host A, 5775 on host C, and 6428 on host B. When the application running on process P3 of host A sends a segment to application running on process P1 of host B, the segment has source port as 9157 and destination port as 6428. And after arrival of the datagram on the host with IP address B, the destination port number 6428 will be used to deliver the segment to application process P1. Connectionless transport, like UDP, will always deliver all segments that have destination port 6428 regardless of the source port or any additional information to the same socket for the same process P1. Can you guess why we use the source port in the segment then? When the host B wants to reply to host A, while making the reply segment, the source port from the received segment, 9157, is now used as the destination port on the outgoing segment to the process P3 running the application on host A. Therefore, segments from process P1 on host B to process P3 to host A have source port 6428 and destination port 9157, and when arrived on host with IP address A, the destination port 9157 regardless of the source information, will be used to deliver the segment to process P3. Can you come up with the source and destination port numbers used for communication between processes P1 on server B and P4 on server C? In connection-oriented demultiplexing, there is an end-to-end -end connection in place like a pipe. This logical connection is between the destination and source processes and therefore, information about both of the source and destination processes are needed to ensure segments belong to the same connection. Therefore, in connection-oriented demultiplexing, as in TCP, the socket is identified by a four-tuple. Source IP address, source port number, destination IP address, and destination port number make that four-tuple. A host especially a server, for example, a web server, might have many simultaneous TCP sockets. Identifying the sockets for those different connections, which might be for the same application, needs source information as well. Assume we have three hosts, A, B, and C. Host B is running a server application like a web server. The server on host with address B has a known port for the server which is port 80. Tied with different sockets to different parallel processes running the same application. If host A and host C decide to initiate connections to the HTTP server on server B, they need to address their segments to port 80 on host B. Each TCP socket is identified by a four tuple and changing each of these values identifies a different socket. Therefore, Unlike UDP, segments with same destination port may not end up in the same socket. For example, let's say host A initiates a connection to host B, which is from host A's port 9157 and goes to the port 80 of host B. Host C also initiates a TCP connection to host B from its port 5775 to host B's port 80. These packets will end up going to different sockets at the server B, which is identified not only by port AD, 
but also with the three other values in the four tuple. Hosts may have more than one connection among different processes. For example, we can have another different connection between servers B and C. Also, same source ports might be used among different hosts communicating with the same host server. For example, if host C communicates with a port number 9157 on its side, which is exactly same port value host A has used, the segment arriving at server B will have destination port 80 and source port 9157, exactly same as those values in the segment from host A. The IP address of the destination antidatagram is also the same. However, since the source IP address in the datagram is different, these segments will be sent to different sockets and separation of the connections will be maintained. Note that the server application is running at multiple parallel processes in this example. This could alternatively be handled with threading and the same application having different sockets with different identifiers in the same process and within the threads.